Again, as before, I'm assuming you've read down to this point in the notes about how to solve inhomogeneous linear difference equations where there's some positive function on the right-hand side. And so I assume that by now you've read through and you know the steps are first to find the general solution to the homogeneous equation by solving the characteristic equation again. Second, by finding a particular solution by guessing a solution of the correct shape to find some solution of the inhomogeneous problem and that you know that the solution, general solution to the inhomogeneous problem is the general solution of the homogeneous plus the particular solution. And then third step, as before, using the extra conditions to find uh, the constants. So I assume you've read that material on how to solve an inhomogeneous linear difference equation. And in this video, we're going to work, work through example 4.3, where we use that method in an example. Okay, so this is the example to solve this inhomogeneous equation, because it's got an 8 on the right-hand side. So, as you'll have read, step 1 is to ignore the 8 on the right-hand side and get the general solution to the homogeneous version with just a 0 there. So, as always, we start off with the characteristic equation, where the 10 xn plus 2 becomes a 10 lambda squared. Uh, the xn plus 1 becomes a lambda, the xn becomes a 1, and we're ignoring the right-hand side for the moment. So that's 0 on the right. So again, we've got this quadratic equation. Uh, you could use the formula to solve it if you wanted to, or if you're feeling clever, you might be able to work out that this factorises again. Factorises as 2 lambda minus 1, 5 lambda minus 1, uh, which means we have solutions lambda equals a half, lambda equals a fifth, which are distinct solutions. Uh, you'd get the same solutions if you use the formula, which means that the general solution to the homogeneous equation, the one with a zero on the right-hand side, is xn equals a lots of a half to the n plus b lots of a fifth to the n. So that's step one. Step two is to find a particular solution, which means just to find any solution. So our equation had an 8 on the right-hand side. That is a constant on the right-hand side. So we're going to guess a particular solution being a constant and see if that works. So we're going to guess xn equals c, a constant. So if that were a, were a solution, then 10c minus 7c plus c would equal to 8. So if there were a constant solution to the inhomogeneous equation, it would solve this. Uh, what do we get? On the right-hand side, we get uh, 4 lots of c. On the right-hand side, we get 8. Oh, so it does have a solution of c equals 2. So that means the general solution to the inhomogeneous equation is the sum of the two solutions we found. It's the sum of the particular solution, 2, and the general solution to the homogeneous equation, which was a half to the n plus b, a fifth to the n. And then finally, and always make sure to do this step last, we're going to use the initial conditions to find the values of a and b. So the initial conditions are x0, which is equal to 2 plus a, a half to the 0 is 1, and a fifth to the zero is one, so two plus a plus b equals, and it's x naught equals naught, or uh, a plus b equals minus two, if you prefer, and x one, which will equal to two plus a half a plus a fifth b, equals 13 tenths. That was given to us uh, in the equation. Um, okay, so if we... Uh, 
multiply everything up by 10, uh, take the 2, which is now a 20, over to the left-hand side. That will give us minus 7 on the, on the right-hand side, sorry. And it will give us a uh, 5a plus 2b on the left. So in, all in one step, I multiplied everything by 10 and took the 2, which is now a 20, over to the right-hand side. If you wanted to do that in a couple more steps, just to check that you're doing it right, that's fine. And again here, we have two simultaneous equations, which we have to solve in whatever method you prefer to solve your simultaneous equations. Uh, I will go for two lots of the first equation uh, minus the second, because that will eliminate my b's. So from two lots of the first, we get 2a uh, plus, uh, plus 5a, uh, minus 5a. So that will give me minus 3a on the left. And that will give me minus 2 times 2 minus 4 plus 7 equals 3 on the right. So I get minus 3a equals 3, which means a is minus 1. And I'll substitute that uh, into the first equation. We get minus 1 plus b equals minus 2, uh, which means b is minus 1 as well. So the solution at last is xn equals 2 plus a, which was minus 1, uh, so I'll just put in a minus there, minus half to the n plus b, which is minus 1 again, to the fifth to the n. So that's the solution. In section subsection 4.4, for which that isn't a video, for which there isn't a video, uh, we'll solve another inhomogeneous linear difference equation, and that will be the one for the expected duration of the gambler's ruin. And you can read through that yourself.